Hello. It's late. It's like 4.50 in the morning, so I guess that's early. So we're going to do things a little bit backwards this morning. And while I explain how we do it, let's get some B-roll of this machine up on the screen. This is the brand new Elegoo Mars 5 Ultra. And I think first let's look at the prints, then let's go over the resin process. And lastly, we'll take a closer look at the machine and all of its details. Now teaser, it's really good. In fact, uh, I'll drop a special launch pricing and links in the description. Go check it out, especially if you already know you want it. This is the Rook model that came on the machine. And in all honesty, I didn't even print it first. After I unboxed the machine, I went straight for my own model. If that's not an indicator of the confidence I have in these new machines, especially from Elegoo, um, I don't know what is. I'll show you the Rook first, since that's what was included with the uh, machine. And I think that that's probably what Elegoo thinks best represents the printer. As for quality, what do you think? Tell me in the comments below and I'll let you be the judge. I think the print is absolutely great. And uh, I mean, I'm not really surprised. Um, as far as resin printers go, Elegoo is in their prime, and they are cranking out some of the best resin printers on the market right now. And later, when we go over the features, you'll totally understand what I mean. This industry is almost unrecognizable from where it was just a couple of years ago, and resin is now just so simple to get into, and the difficulty is nearly gone. Okay, now on to my print. Years ago, I printed a Xenomorph on a Prusa SL1, and it was one of my all-time favorite prints, and I ended up dropping it and breaking it, and I never got around to reprinting it until now. It turned out just so good. Van was filming with me tonight, so these are his shots, and I am blown away at just how good it came out in person and on camera. The details are impeccable, and I'm totally shocked at just how easy it is to get results like this without even really trying. I just loaded up Cheetah Box, added the Mars 5 Ultra, dropped the Xenomorph model in, told it I wanted auto supports, had it delete any of the islands that it found, and then sent it over Wi-Fi to the machine. Now years ago, you had to spend a grand or more to get results like this, and now we have prints like this coming off of machines that quite literally anyone can afford now. I printed both the Xenomorph and the Rook in Elegu Standard Gray Resin with default slicer settings, nothing special. Okay, now that you've seen the results, let's take a look at the resin process. And this is quite possibly the number one reason people shy away from resin. Comment below and tell me if you think resin is too messy. It's really not that messy at all if you have a simple process. My process involves gloves, lots of gloves, and here's why. I would rather change gloves a few times than have uncured resin everywhere. Gloves are cheap, so just buy a couple of boxes and don't worry about waste. Just take them off, put them on as you need. I keep the outsides of the machines super clean, and I treat the insides of the machines as contaminated. Why? Well, it means that I don't have to worry about children or pets touching raw, uncured resin. Everything that sits outside on the workbenches is clean, and you can touch it. The insides, I don't touch without gloves. And when I put gloves on, I don't touch the outsides, right? It's the same thing as cooking. When you're working with raw ingredients, right? You have a wet ingredient hand, and you have a dry ingredient hand. It's the exact same thing, exact same process. I will say this, having a resin wash and cure station is really nice. They aren't required, but I highly recommend them. And these two units from Elegoo make things so much easier. Now the process. First, I remove all the lids for the resin machine and the wash and cure stations. Get my gloves on, these are way too small. Then remove the bill plate and pop the print off. <laughs> and don't do what I just did right there. I launched it across the room. And it turns out that that etched build plate really holds well for printing and it releases super easy. Right, I, I, I found that out just now. I use a tub with a little isopropyl alcohol in it to remove any supports, then I drop it right into the wash station for a few minutes and let it do its thing. After a few minutes of wash time, you can inspect it and wash it again, even hit it with the toothbrush if you think you didn't get all the resin off. Then out of the wash station and into the curing station for a while to make sure you get it fully cured. I really use resin printing as a moment for me to relax and get some quiet time. I honestly really enjoy it a lot, and I wish I got to do it more. Um, but the process makes it quite therapeutic actually for me. You can see that there's little nubs left from when I removed the supports, and I wasn't too concerned with that because I planned on painting this anyway. The little nubs are easy to, to remove. Sometimes you can do it with your fingernail. You can use a file, sandpaper, um, or a Dremel like I did. You just grind it smooth and it really doesn't take much, especially with the Dremel. I took it outside and hit it with some black primer, then a clean coat of black medium gloss, and just a light clear coat. And look at that shine. Oh my gosh. 
Um, I think it turned out really, really good. Like, freaking fantastic, actually. I literally unboxed this machine. I poured resin in it, and I hit print. No special resin skills or knowledge required. This was one of the easiest resin machines uh, that I've ever worked with. I honestly hope the days of difficult resin printing are behind us and that we're just moving past that. These machines are really incredible. Okay, so now let's go over the features of this Mars 5 Ultra. First, it uses a 9K monochrome screen and a super fast tilting vat. Now, the tilting vat isn't unique to Elegoo, and I first experienced this probably four years ago or so with the Prusa SL1. Um, it's nice to see that other machines from Elgoo now also include this as well. Basically, it means that instead of the build plate lifting straight up alone, the vat actually tilts down and away from the build plate as it lifts, right? So it kind of lessens uh, that, that concentration of lift force as well. It has a build volume of 153 millimeters by 77 millimeters deep and 165 millimeters tall. Now, there's no manual leveling, which is super nice. It's completely automatic and it has this sweet return to zero clamp to secure the build plate. When a print is started, the printer checks to make sure you have enough resin, that's nice, and uh, it also checks the vat for any foreign objects, right? So it goes down and senses if there's something left in there from your last print. The AI camera is there. It detects warping, failed prints. Um, you can use it for time lapses, and of course, remote monitoring. Wi-Fi printing, super awesome. And uh, you can also do it with traditional sneaker net by walking over with your USB key. Oh, and if you're dreaming of a resin printer farm, this is awesome. The Mars 5 Ultra supports cluster printing. So you can manage an array of these machines uh, from a single interface. That is pretty sweet. Now, when I first powered on the printer, it had an update, which was nice to see that that's all done over the network, right? Like we'd expect now. The touchscreen interface is nice. It's big and bright. No complaints there very responsive. Ultimately, this was one of the easiest resin machines I think I've ever worked with, like I said earlier. And uh, I would highly recommend this uh, as a machine for everyone. Now I'll have links and special launch pricing in the description. You should go check it out. Now, as we wrap this up, let me give a huge thank you to Elegoo for sending this over and an even more massive thank you to my Patreon and YouTube members. I couldn't do this without you. Thank you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.